Of all the worlds that you could possibly imagine, the one I'm about to reveal to you is by far the strangest. It is a big round hole inhabited by the creatures known as Asposians, and brought to life through the breath of its four wind fountains. These fountains have always been guarded by the wind monks. They were one with the wind, and sometimes one with their gambling problem. Like in every culture, this one too had its own legends about the origins of the wind. The stories of gigantic wind gods that breathed life into Asposia seemed to satisfy most of its people. Even still, the Asposians were quite surprised when these creatures suddenly emerged from the wind fountains and began turning people into stone. Conroy overtook the rule of the land. For 15 years, he protected the Asposians from the wrath of the Wind Gods. He preached austerity and obedience to appease the gods. Those were dark times. But now you should know, that was utter nonsense. Conroy built the creatures himself in order to control the people of Asposia through fear and terror. Then one day, three years ago, he was defeated by a young hero. So what is the real story behind the origin of the wind? The holy dynasty of the Flute Noses has brought the wind to Asposia since the beginning of time. They live hidden deep in the forest and play their wind song in secret. Just look at him. Look into his devious eyes. Do you see what I see, brothers and sisters? I see a traitor, a murderer, a crime against nature. It was he and his kind, them with their noses, that summoned the Basilians here whose evil gaze they used to turn innocent Asposians to stone. They murdered our abbot Conroy in the most cowardly fashion. For years he had been protecting us from the Basilians. Like a father putting his arms around us, he appeased the Basilians that they have summoned to attack us. My name is Seraphius Cedar Cantata, flautist of the second rank. It has been my noble task to perform the wind song and with it keep Asposia alive. The fountains flow because of our dynasty. We are but a tool of the wind. What did that flute now say? Honor! Listen, please! You will all suffocate if we cannot play our song. Are you all complete idiots? Conroy was evil. Conroy was our savior. He has given his life for us in the fight against these heathens. But we... We'll get him back, my dear brothers and sisters. And the first thing that our abbot Conroy will see when he is finally free of his stone form is all the flute noses being thrown into the wind fountains, every last one of them! You're all going to kill yourselves. Don't you get it? Conroy built the Basilians himself. Our king will come, and he will bring peace. So says the prophecy.
Did you all see that? He wanted to summon another Basilian! Ooh. Ooh. As I live and breathe, brothers and sisters, as Conroy's humble deputy, we will hunt down every last flute nose, and we will put an end to them all. And let this king come. He will be the first to greet the fountain. And there he is, the king of Asposia, Robert, a statue, helpless and alone. Well, he's not quite alone. His loyal pigeon is here to free him from this unfortunate situation.
Myself into stone. Who you are? You're Robert. Don't you remember? Remember what? That you're a flute nose. The son of the king. The heir to the throne. Sound familiar, child? Conroy kidnapped you 18 years ago when you were just a baby and turned all the flute noses into stone. You grew up with him, not knowing that your father was the king. Conroy. I thought... Oh, all right. What am I supposed to do with you, Robert? I take you in and raise you like a son, and this is the thanks I get? You're going to sit down and repaint that until it looks decent. 
And what's with all those flowers? What are you, a girl? Robert, my boy, listen. Perhaps I don't tell you often enough. But it's no wonder that your parents abandoned you. No one wanted you. And if I hadn't found you and taken you off the streets when you were a baby, you would be dead right now. But now you're here, for better or worse. Now come, play me my song. <laughs> 